What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be doing some PPF on my personal truck. It is a 2008 GMC Sierra 6 inch lift. If you guys are new to the channel, or if you are new to the channel, that's my truck. If you are new to the channel, you've seen rebuild videos. But yeah, you've seen those videos, you've seen the stuff I've done to this truck. Now, we just need to protect what I've done to the truck. Um, so we're going to be using GSWF's Fender Series PPF. We're gonna be protecting the grill today. So I, I did a little test here, and it is definitely, if you guys can tell here, enhancing the shine like crazy. Apparently my paint job that I did to that grill wasn't very glossy, whereas this is PPF, a little piece I tested here, made a huge difference. Very happy about that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to install PPF on the upper part of the grill here, that is on the hood and also this lower part here, which is gonna be tricky because we have a lot of, <laughs> we gotta go in like crazy here. And then we also have to go down and in this way. So it's gonna be a little tricky there. Um, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to the challenge, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm gonna show you guys everything. So if I fail miserably, I'm gonna show you that. And if I don't fail, I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> So come along for a ride guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get right into this. So, yeah, I found, now I've cleaned it all with ice. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my slip solution. I don't know if I'm going to actually do the whole top, whole thing at once, but just tacking it down here just so I can hold here. As you can see, I just laid the whole thing down. We've got lots of water behind there. So, probably going to end up cutting the top piece, but I may only do it after I get this in place, just in case I gotta move it around a bunch. I wanna make sure I have more than enough at least to do this, and then we'll cut out and we'll do the top. I'd rather cut way more than not enough. Let's see now. Stretch 
torch into this. Here where it's lifting up right here where it's lifting up you can see it ripped right here and then so this whole part <laughs> is not yeah so there you go right there that's the rip this is laying down pretty nice here this laid down nice here once that dries out those fingers will get in there nice a little stuff like this not a big deal it's just this that sucks I may end up just cutting it for now and leaving it making it like a clean cut and then see if I can do a little bit better on that side <laughs> and then I'll probably just end up redoing it in a little while Okay, so I have now, I took a break from this and then I went and did the top piece here. Turned out really good. Um, still got some finishing stuff to do, a little bit of tucking, trimming on the bottom side there. But that enhanced the shine on that guy like crazy. And then here, I tried to do it in one piece. I ended up now making a release cut here. So we're just gonna have another piece, which is maybe what I should've done here. Here I have this cut because I, rip, because I ripped it and because I don't know how much I trust my paint job on this grill, if it's just gonna take off paint or not, if I pull it back um, after it being actually tacked on. Um, so I'm afraid to take this off. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it on there and I'm just gonna work with what I got here because it is my personal vehicle. I do have plastic adhesion pour on there. I did scuff it, but it is still chrome behind there. Um, nothing really sticks well to chrome. Um, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> so I'm not gonna bother pulling it back. I am going to just deal with that release cut there and have two pieces on this side, and we're gonna get it done. Um, it already looks a lot better than it did out the PPF. The PPF has added a lot of shine to this, a lot of gloss, which makes me very happy, and it'll protect the grill I'm getting beat up because also when you paint chrome it gets chipped a lot easier than other stuff. So yeah, this will help protect that from getting chipped up, keep it looking good, shiny, and on point. Well guys, I got it finished. Actually looks pretty decent, I'm not going to complain too much. Only like one spot that I'm not too happy with it, but other than that, Turned out pretty awesome, a lot more shine, and that's the part that I'm the happiest about. That and the fact that it won't get all stone chipped, obviously.
fully protected upper, lower, grill surround. If this video was helpful to you guys, if you guys found this video entertaining, anything like that, um, please give it a like, comment your thoughts down below, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, help me get to 400 subscribers, I think right now we're at like 333 at the time of recording this, and, and, quick little thank you to everyone that watched, commented, or liked, or all of the above on my latest video, the C8 roof wrap video. If you guys haven't checked it out, it'll be on the end screen here somewhere. Go check it out and uh, let me know what you think. The video was fun, great car. I think that video is now at like 600 and some uh, views after a day and a half of being up, which is completely crazy for my small channel. Completely blown away by that. Thank you guys for the support there. And thank you for watching this video if you made it this far. <laughs> if you didn't, yeah, it's alright. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.